Our eyes are windows to the world, gathering information that our brains interpret, enabling us to perceive our surroundings. In this segment, we will take a look at vision, how it works, how it develops, as well as ways to identify and address some common vision problems. The lens of the eye focuses light into an image at the back of the eye. Here, bright and dark are turned into electrical signals that travel through the optic nerve to the midbrain and on to the back of the brain. A large portion of the brain is devoted to interpreting these visual signals. How bright the image is, how it is moving and changing, and how patterns are arranged. While most babies are born with fully functioning eyes, vision is something that must be learned. And it's in the first year of life that we learn to see, to focus, and to align our eyes, and to look towards sights and sounds that interest us. In the first year, babies become experts in vision. They can see fine details, and they key into new sights, things that move or have unusual or striking patterns. And they can recognize many different faces and subtle facial expressions. At birth, a baby only sees a very fuzzy image and can't coordinate his two eyes. But at a few months old, the image becomes sharp, the eyes work in synchrony, and the baby can track objects and make sense of the fast changing scenes. During this time, not only is the brain learning to organize what the eyes see, but what the eyes see is in turn affecting the development of the brain. The connections between neurons that process visual signals change dramatically. Some connections are strengthened, and many less used connections are broken. Which connections are favored between neighboring neurons and between brain areas depends on what the baby sees. The important parts of vision are shaped by the sights to which the baby is exposed. Color, motion and form are interpreted and combined in different parts of the brain. Each of these parts of vision are tuned by early experience. There is a two-way street between what kids see and how their brain is prepared to interpret what they see. For example, all kids figure out what's important about written words and letters. The letters shape or how letters and words are grouped together by seeing many examples on street signs, or in a book or a comic strip. In order for the child's brain to develop and organize the world, her eyes need to work properly. Many eye problems need to be taken care of right away to allow the brain to build critical visual skills. Recognizing common vision problems is the first step to correcting them, and we will point out some of the things to look for and do at the end of this segment. It's important to recognize that having functioning eyes is only the first half of seeing well. The brain needs to be able to organize and interpret what the eyes provide. Even with perfectly good eyes, if that part of the brain is damaged, sight is damaged. You can be blind even with perfect eyes. This part of the brain needs good input from the eyes to develop correctly, and that's why it is so important to correct eye problems as early as they are noticed. There are some parts of vision that continue to change and get fine-tuned well into early childhood. Kids need to be able to see all the details of letters and words. If their eyes can't see important details, that information can't be used by the brain, and the brain can actually lose the ability to recognize the details. Even if vision is regained later, their brain might not be able to use all of what they can see. It's not just text and reading. The same thing happens with recognizing faces and facial expressions and other things like finding their way around school or the supermarket. One example of the brain's loss of visual capability occurs when kids are born with cataracts in their eyes. Cataracts blur their vision and make it difficult to tell the difference between shades of light and dark. Cataracts can often be completely removed so the eyes are just as good as if the kids never had them. But if cataracts are not removed early, within the first six weeks, the kids will never see details as well as if they had been removed in that early period. Their eyes are just as good 
but their brain has lost some of the ability to use what the eyes provide. Some parts of vision can never be recovered. There are other eye conditions that cause blurring of vision with the same result. Also, it is not uncommon for one eye to dominate vision while the other eye wanders, eventually losing its function altogether. Most vision problems can be corrected or made less severe. It's important to try to solve these problems as early as possible because it's not just the eyes that are needed to see well. The brain needs to be able to know how to change to fully use the sight we have. Kids with low vision, even permanently low vision, learn to use what they have. Even the weakest vision is useful in everyday life, and the more vision, the better. It's the family and teachers who talk with the kids the most and see what they see who are most likely to recognize that a child might have a vision problem. Kids might never have seen the world with clear vision and have no reason to think that they don't see well. It's parents and teachers who need to motivate a visit to an eye doctor and the doctor can then track down specific problems and suggest ways to improve vision. A few of the warning signs that a child needs a vision checkup include one eye drifts or aims in a different direction than the other. This is significant even if it only occurs when the child is tired or stressed. Turns or tilts head to see. Squinting or closing of one eye, particularly while reading. Headaches or eye strain double vision. This DVD contains a set of checklists and resources for parents to help them identify possible vision problems and options available for improving children's vision. Be aware of possible vision problems as young children don't often recognize or communicate the problem. Take care of vision problems in young children. Sooner is better than later because the brain can adapt better in early life.